So a common problem right now in Geometry Dash if, is if you're using the new mod loader Geode, which is basically like Forge, but for Geometry Dash, with the texture pack loader that comes with the software, and you try to and you load your texture packs in and everything is good, and you try to play it. This is going to happen. It's going to crash, and it's going to give you this huge block of error message. So I'll be showing you how to fix that. And so the main reason is because the texture packs you have are actually only for 2.1. And for some reason, this crashes the game, and I'll get into why and how to fix the texture packs later. So first of all, how to fix that problem. Now, let's say you don't care about the texture packs, and you just want to stop your game from crashing because you want to play some GD. So you have to look and say, oh, well, this is for 2.2. It's obviously not that one. So this is the pack that's causing the issue. So just delete it. And now let's try starting it up again. Boom, good as new. And now I'll show you how to fix it. So let's say you're really, really desperate to use your amazing texture pack. Let's say you really want to use the Temi pack so you can see all of these amazing Undertale characters. So in that case, this is going to be hard. And so only do this if you really want to. But what you have to do basically is, ma is manually find the file that's causing the issue and then fix it so it no longer causes the issue, which is not that difficult. It's just really boring. So what you do is you copy this is how you have you have your texture pack here you copy it and then you paste it in your folder so now you have two copies and now you go in the one that you actually are going to load delete everything here so now the one that's in your geometry dash file is empty and now you have a copy laying in some other folder you want to transfer each file one at a time to try to figure out what the issue is now you really don't need to do it one at a time because most of the problems are with these .plist files. And what these .plist files do is basically tell the game where to find certain textures. So for example, when the game is trying to load game sheet 02, it just, it's just this huge image. So what these plist files do is they tell the game where each texture is on the image. So it's gonna tell the game that this cube is located at these coordinates on this image and the formatting for these is oftentimes all messed up because there was a formatting change in the .plist files from 2.11 to 2.2. Because the issues are with the .plist files, we can just start by dragging everything here that isn't related to the .plist files and seeing if it works. Looks like the game runs just fine and the texture pack's already loaded. And you can hear that wonderful music and the buttons are different colors, so that's great. But now let's say you want to get the meat of the texture pack, you know, you want to get the juicy plist files as well as this beautiful logo and these apparently unchanged icons in there too. What you might want to do is first to see if they actually are the issue. So let's just try by dragging the glow one in, for example. Okay, looks like it works fine with the glow one. So you're going to want to do this for every single one of these plist combos. Let's try with the launch sheet. Okay, the launch sheet is causing an issue. It's one of the files that are causing the issues. So now make a new folder, call it not working and then drag and drop it back in. And then you're gonna to wanna to try this with every single one. And since I've already done it, since I've already done this one, because when I was trying to figure out what the issue was, I've narrowed it down. The ones that don't work are number two and number four, I believe. Let me just double check that. Number three is also causing the issues too. So that's phenomenal. So now I'll show you how to fix the .plist files. Okay, so here's where the difficult part lies. 
So now you have, let's just go one at a time. So the launch sheet is probably the easiest. So let's open it up in our favorite image editor, paint.net. Let's open up the plist and let's have one plist here. And I say one plist because you're gonna to wanna to grab the working version. Now you might wanna ask, where is the working version? The working version is going to be in the game files of Geometry Dash. It's gonna be the default one. So you're gonna to wanna to go to browse local files. Then you're gonna to wanna to find, now you're gonna to wanna to find it. So that's gonna be in resources. Let's see what let's see what we're trying to fix is called. JG launch sheet dot plist. UHD, yep, UHD dot plist. So now let's open it. So now you have to compare and see what is it? What's the difference and why isn't it working? Well, first of all, we can see the formatting is really different here. So that's our first problem. Like look at how the difference in the spaces. So obviously it's gonna be really stupidly hard to try to like modify this one to match this one. So what I suggest doing is you go to this video, I have it linked in the description, how to edit the geometry dash P list, watch it in its entirety so you understand how the P list works and then just change this P list. So copy it and then replace it with the, copy the new version, replace it with the old version or even have this one and the old version set side by side and then So now you have the one that you're, the one that's going to replace this one as well as the one in your texture folder and the old one. All you're going to want to do is copy, once you figure out how this works, just copy all of this so then the numbers match and when the numbers match and the formatting matches, it should work. So yeah, if you have any problems, message me on Discord. If you have any more questions, message me on Discord or leave a comment. If you don't understand anything about the P-list, um, I ask this guy in the comments because I really don't know much about texture packs. I just know this is how to fix it and this is the issue. So uh, yeah, that's it for the video. I hope this helps and catch you guys later. Bye.